a good afternoon. Ah, welcome back here with Profitable Talk with Mother Bam again today. God bless each and every one of you that are viewing us again on today. I pray that you had the opportunity from last week to be able to take down your notes and be able to reread your scriptures and think about what we share. We're still this week talking about becoming cage free. We are going into segment two on today. I like to just take a quick moment just to say that I thank Thank you uh, for listening in right here on Profitable Talk with Mother Bam right here on KingdomPurposeTV.com. KingdomPurposeTV.com. And we're excited for being on this platform on today as always. Want to let you know that this is a series. Our topic is a series of four weeks. This is week two and we will be journeying on. Our journey is to be able to come out of bondage, to come from behind the bars, to become and be set free from being in prison naturally and spiritually coming out of incarceration. And we want to be able to just talk from a real place from right where you are. Amen. Sometimes we just need that one-on-one -on -one talk and that's what Mother Bam is here to do. I enjoy having profitable conversations, conversations that are valuable, conversations that consist of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. And there's nothing like the word of God that gives us and provides us wisdom but we have to gain an ear to hear. We have to have a heart to want to receive and a mind to want to obey that which God has given us. He's given us everything we need in the word. But sometimes in this life along the way, huh, we all get stuck in a poverty or a imprisoned situation. We might not never enter into a natural jail, but our situations, our circumstances can allow us to be inwardly, spiritually in jail, incarcerated, feeling in bondage, feeling like we just can't get up out of this, feeling stuck, simply stuck. And I just want to take these few minutes here on this 10 minute word break just to share a little of information with you again on this week in segment two. And in segment two here, we're going to be talking about check your heart for the spiritual incarceration. What is holding? What is in your system? What is going on in your heart, in your mind? that keeps repeating over and over again. What is it that you're drawn to uh, that you have to take a look at and be honest with yourself? Remember last week we talked about being honest, being transparent with oneself. That's where it all starts. We can't look and blame everything on another because it is us that is stuck. It's our individual selves that need to be set free. And the only one that can help us be set free is God, you, and me. Meaning you are you and you are the me. Amen. When you take and bring it to yourself. All right. When you bring it to yourself, take yourself to the Father. Open up your heart, your mind, and your spirit, taking yourself to your father, our father, the father that created you, that know more about you than you know about yourself. But what you need to do, you know, in Jeremiah, there's a scripture that says the heart is desperately wicked. And I know as believers and, you know, we don't want to say that we are desperately wicked in our hearts, but we're all a work in progress. And in that work in progress, we're overcoming 
the works of this flesh. For in this flesh dwelleth no good thing. All of us have some things we've had to toil with in life that we had to let go of, that we had to overcome. And this is how we get to where we need to be. This is how we get to getting those walking in step, in sync. Uh, we got to be able to allow our heart to come in sync and our walk to come in rhythm with the word of God in order to become cage free. You got to let go of some things, but it's hard to let go of something that you don't even recognize about yourself. So once again, this week, I want you to take time. Look at your heart. Look at where you really are and be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. We're in a time where people just don't want to be honest with themselves. They don't want to blame themselves for the decisions that they've made, for the steps that they've taken. Oh, I know a lot of times you say, well, you know, I don't want to be reminded. I don't want to be judged. But guess what? I'm not here to judge you. But I am here to help you. I'm here to talk to you about you. I'm here to help you to look at you and let you see that there is something that you can do to help you. Amen. There are some things you can do to help you. But we first got to acknowledge where we are and where we are not. All of us have been the man at the bottom of the step once or another time in life. It's okay. It's part of the process. It's the journey of which we must take in what's called life. It is a part of life. And so I want to just say to you to take time. Be honest with yourself. Let's look at that situation. Let's look at what you're holding in your heart. What is it that you're bitter about? What took place, whether you're right or wrong, let's get to the root of it. Let's face it head on. When we can face it head on and be honest with God about it, he already knows, but he wants you to acknowledge that it's there. And then when you acknowledge that it's there, you turn to him and ask him for the help that you need to overcome and to come out of it. Father, in Jesus name, I just thank you for this opportunity today just to share that 10 minute word break. I pray that it has been a blessing to you. And guess what? We're going to have a word of prayer and hopefully next week you'll be back. For part three, the third segment to becoming cage free right back here with profitable talk and mother bam. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again today, we come before you, God, a great God that thou art, the giver of life. Uh, hey, mighty God, mighty God. Father, for every listener that listened today and for those that will be listening in the future, oh God, to this video, we pray for them now, God. We pray for every ear and every heart today, God. We pray, oh God, that you would give them the strength, oh Father, to be released, oh God, to be loose from bondage, uh, to be set free, God, uh, from the inside out. Let them begin to look on the inside. Let them be able to be honest with themselves and everything about themselves. They bring it and lay it at, at your feet that you can give them the strength and the strategy of how to overcome the will of themselves, how to turn our God from the wicked way, God, how to allow you to process them, how to allow you to wash them and make them free. Father, we thank you for setting the captive free. We thank you for setting us free. I thank you for setting me free. I haven't always been where I am today, but I thank you for where you brought me from. I thank you for bringing me from behind the prison. Hey, God, into the promise. Oh, God, I thank you for it today. You have no respect to person and you can do it for them today as well. Father, we just give you glory, honor, and praise until next week. I'll meet you right back here for another 10-minute break with Profitable Talk. Mother Bam. God bless you.